Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Is this not? Good morning. Doesn't seem to be working so well. I'll just speak loudly. Can you all hear me? Good. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone who's joining us online. Um, we have any visitors today that would, that would like to say hello and introduce themselves? Hello. Hi. Welcome. Where are you joining us from? Uh, from California. Wonderful. Washington, from California and Washington, D.C. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Um, just a few announcements. Um, make sure to visit the table in Bailey Hall after the service during coffee hour. There's sign up sheets for different things. And I just put a sign up sheet out for tables for eight in January. That's where we have small group meetings at people's homes. And um, Ed and Karen Coy will be hosting one in January, and Karen Underhill is hosting another one later on in the month. So if you'd like to participate in a small group where we can discuss things, then, um, then there's a sign up there for that. And I just want to say that, that the last small group we did, the first one, um, was a really wonderful discussion. And out of that discussion came the idea of doing a blue Christmas service, which we did on Thursday. And I want to thank everyone who was there, Marilyn and Karen and, and all, everyone who was there participating in that conversation, because that out of that came the, this worship service that we did this last week. And it was a very meaningful service. And thank you also, Karen, for lighting the candles and reading and for everyone who made baked goods. And thank you for everyone who participated in that. It was a very special time. Um, we're still collecting food for the food shelter, so if you have any uh, canned goods or dried goods, things that you can donate, uh, we'll accept that. Um, we have emergency contact forms that are in the baskets out there, so if you haven't filled one out yet, that's just so we know how to get in touch with you or get in touch with somebody who knows you if there's an emergency. Um, I'm still waiting back to hear about a date for the first aid class, but we'll host a first aid class in January. And as soon as we have a date confirmed, I'll put sign-up sheets out there in, in Bailey Hall for that. Um, no Sunday school today or next week. And um, are there any other announcements? Any, anything else? Uh, OK. In that case, let's join together in our intro. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. <laughs> to worship. You may be seated. Stop. Listen. Pay attention. Love is coming near. The hope bringer, peacemaker, joy sustainer grows in a womb preparing to be born among us. With Mary, we long for the coming of the child who will transform the world, bringing justice where there is injustice reigns, fullness where hunger persists, and favor to the ones the world calls lowly. So let us join our voices and our lives in magnifying God, our Savior. We come to wait to declare the coming of the love that transforms us. 
Amen. Let's join this together and sing our opening hymn, 245, the first Noel. Today is the fourth Sunday in Advent, and it's the time that we light our fourth Advent candle. And we have a very family today who's going to help us to light the candle. And this candle was lit. It's our custom here to bring our lantern to shut in or somebody who doesn't join us typically in church. And so this week I brought the candle to the home of Ginny, and she lit the candle for us. And she just asked that we all stay healthy and we all be well. And that was her message for us. So you can follow along in your bulletin with the Advent candles uh, lighting. When the angel Gabriel visited Mary, announcing God's plan for her to conceive and to give birth to the Messiah, Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I am a virgin? And yet only a few months later, Mary sings to Elizabeth, my soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed for the mighty one has done great things for me. Holy is his name. We, like Mary, hear God's call to be part of making God's dream for our salvation and flourishing a reality. And we question, how can this be? I am only, yet like Mary, the onlys that make us hesitate are gifts. God can and will use these gifts as God's love transforms us into bearers of good news. Wait, 
We light these candles as signs of our shocking hope, our just peace, our fierce joy, and the love that transforms us. May love grow within us, transforming us into bold witnesses of God's salvation with our voices and our lives. Amen. <clears throat> children here that'd like to come forward we don't have Sunday school today but we can still visit for a moment children or, or young people or youths <laughs> good morning hi JD hey Charlie are you, are you all excited for Christmas yeah this tomorrow I know it's Christmas Eve today and your family's coming? Oh, I know. My brothers are coming. We're going to have a celebration with family, too. We're excited. So last week, hey, Susanna. Welcome. Last, last week, Aiden and Marcus and I went to see Charlie Brown Christmas. Have you seen that play? You've seen the book and the movie? It's a, it's a fun one. And we had a good time at the play. And what, what's so funny about it, Marcus and I were talking about how Charlie Brown is really mopey. Oh, I don't know what Christmas is about. And he's kind of mopey. And it's kind of, I think it's real funny. And, and sometimes we can identify with that. Sometimes, oh, I don't know what it's about. I don't feel happy enough. And I think, have you ever seen one of these Marvel movies or these big blockbuster movies where there's superheroes flying around and stuff like that? And it's really wild. I think sometimes we want Christmas to be like that, this big ah, wild adventure story with all kinds of things going on. But that's not what really Christmas is about a lot of times. Have you, have you ever held a baby kitten? You have a baby kitten? Have you, have you been in a barn and you've seen like baby calves and the animals like that? You ever done that? Oh, it's really special. Sometimes, sometimes we go to the barn and there's little babies, little baby piglets and little goats. And they're so cute. And one thing, see Christmas is about small miracles. It's about big miracles that happen actually in small ways, like a baby being born or a chick hatching from an egg. When Aiden was little, we, we had an incubator and we hatched some baby chicks. And it's so wonderful to watch the chicks come out of the eggs and they, and they poke and they come out. And it's, it's a miracle. And it's a, it's a small miracle, but it's the little miracles like that that change the world. And what we celebrate on Christmas is, a, is what appears to be a small miracle. It's a baby who's born in a barn, a baby Jesus, but changes the world. A little thing could turn into a big thing. Exactly. You get it. A little thing can turn into a big thing. And that's what Christmas is about. And so we celebrate it, and we celebrate it with our family, and it's a lovely time. So thank you for coming down and joining me. Let's say a prayer together. Dear God, we thank you for the small miracles, the small inconspicuous things, the miracle of life that has the power to transform the world and the power to transform our lives. We ask the miracle of Christmas to be in our hearts and the light of this time to be with us and to spread to others. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me. Now, as we enter into our time of prayer, are there any joys or concerns that we'd like to lift up as a congregation and share together in prayer? Yeah, Brian. Uh, prayers for dear Valander uh, and everything who passed away. Uh, uh, 
Okay. I'll pray for Eleanor and her family. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. You just because there's no snow. <laughs> We're gonna pray for safe safe travels <laughs> for all the travelers out there. Yeah, Tana. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, we're going to keep Tauno, um, Olavi's brother, who will be in our prayers today too. He's not doing too well, so we're going to we're going to keep Tano in our prayers. Yes, Karen. Carolyn in Virginia, who's, who's in a who's in a serious. Yeah. We'll keep Carolyn in prayers too. Is there any anyone else? Okay. As we enter into our time of silent prayer, take a moment to quiet yourself, to take some deep breaths, to feel the presence of your body here as we gather together to worship, to calm your heart, and to offer in silence all that's in your heart to God. Gracious God, we gather here today to seek you, to worship you, and to try to follow in the footsteps of Jesus who taught us your way. You told us that where two or three are gathered in your name, you are there in our midst, and we thank you for being here with us today as we worship. At this time of year, we celebrate a promise that is fulfilled. We celebrate that you've been faithful to your covenant with us. Even when we have not been faithful to you, you have still tried to break through with love and with light and with truth into our lives. Your healing presence is always with us. Your spirit of love is always with us. We ask that you open our hearts and open our minds that you may enter in. At this dark time of year, we think of those who have lost loved ones. We think of those who are grieving. We think of those who are dealing with illness, and we ask you to watch over those people, Lord. Watch over us in our brokenness and heal us with your love. We thank you for the life of Eleanor and all the people that she blessed, their loving kindness and their intellect and her perceptiveness throughout her life. We ask you to watch over her children and her friends and relatives at this time as they grieve her passing. We ask you, Lord, to watch over those who are in need of healing. Be with Carolyn and surround her with your loving light. Be with Tauno. Surround him with your healing light. 
you were the lobby and Tano's family at this time. We thank you for our joys, Lord. We thank you for the time to gather with family. We ask you to bless the meals that we eat together with our loved ones. Bless our Christmas morning and Christmas day as we celebrate together. Let us feel your warmth, feel your reconciling love in our lives. We thank you for a chance to come together and worship in the blue Christmas service and here today and this evening as we celebrate Christmas Eve. We ask you to be on the highways with all those who are traveling today and at this time of year to visit family, all the students returning home, all the people who are flying in the air and driving on the highways, that your protection may be with us. We ask you to watch over those who are in prison. We cannot enjoy the holidays with their loved ones. We ask your light to be in those walls within those places. We ask you to be with those who do not have a home, those who are traveling, those who are refugees, those who go hungry, those who do not have enough clothing to wear. We ask you to be with those in war-torn places, those who suffer under oppression, those who suffer We thank you for this place and this time, Lord, where we can come together. May your spirit be with us at this time as we worship you and Jesus who taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious and generous God, we offer our gifts to you knowing that the energy exerted in our giving cannot be compared to the gift of yourself given to us. You have given us a glimpse of the gift you truly seek in the angel's conversation with Mary. When told that she would give birth to our Savior, she simply said, yes, let it be according to your word. May that affirmation of faith and obedience be the gift we offer this day. In Christ we pray. Amen. Now it's time we offer our gifts and tithes. <clears throat> 